Women have been suffering from obstetric fistula ever since they started to deliver babies. It is a horrific ordeal that women go through. I mean, a four or five day labor, dead baby, and then to be ostracized um, due to their injuries, um, leaking urine, leaking feces. Depression amongst them is universal. They, 40% uh, will try and commit suicide unless they get treatment. We think there's a probably around about 2 million women still in, waiting in the world for fistula treatment. Last year, the global effort was only about 15,000 women got a repair. So we're well, well behind. And part of that problem is that there's not enough surgeons equipped and skilled enough to do it. Fistula surgery is quite challenging. It's not like treating, teaching someone to do a hysterectomy. You can do it in a couple of weeks and if they've got some surgical skills and they're fine. Fistula surgery, the learning curve is very, very long and it takes a, a long investment into a surgeon to get them up to speed to be able to handle any fistula. So the FIGO fistula program has been expanding over the last number of years. Uh, we actually have 58 fellows all around Africa and Southeast Asia in 19 different countries on the program now and um, developing the skills to become good and qualified fistula surgeons. I mean, just a couple of weeks ago, I had a lady who had been suffering a fistula since 1963 and she had a, a long labor, a three day labor, dead child. And uh, she'd been living in isolation since 1963, even before I was born. We don't know for sure, but we think only about one woman in 50 who has a fistula actually can get access to have her fistula repaired. But it's heartbreaking to think that women have been suffering in silence for all that length of time. A woman suffering a, an obstetric fistula is a, a violation of human rights. I mean, you, it should be a right for all women to have access to safe obstetric care, safe medical care, to ensure that she doesn't have a very real fear of either dying or getting a fistula, just trying to give birth to our next generation.